so convinced that Nala is doing private readings by my back. <laughs> Taurus, why is it I always sit down? She lays in here. I said, well, maybe it's just, I don't know, y'all. I'll be seeing hello. Y'all, look, now, I've been having Nala for over a year. Uh-uh. There's no way I'm starting to just see hairs and stuff pop up. No, I ain't, I ain't going for that. <laughs> Me and her got to have a talk. Hey, Taurus, what's going on, loves? Thanks for joining Just Small. Taro, go Taurus, go Taurus, go Taurus. Okay, babies. All right, babies. All right, babies. Um, there is this, like, one guy on TikTok, okay? Look, hear me out, Taurus. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. And every time he starts his videos, he says, hey, what's up, baby? Like, just how he says, baby, oh, my. I'm like, what? Okay, like, he got a whole girlfriend. He got a girlfriend. Well, look, I got a girlfriend. I got a girlfriend. But, no, I'm just saying the way he says it, just the way he says it. It's okay for me to be delu delusional, Taurus. It's okay. Anyway, <laughs> how you guys doing, Taurus? Beautiful day today. I know it is because guess what? You woke up to see it and you could be anywhere on this earth. Anywhere. Anywhere. But you're here with me and you're not obligated. So thank you, Taurus, for that beautiful gift of your presence. Please understand that you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Taurus could be dealing with you. Um, not one size fits all here. Let go. The Grim Reaper. I got the Grim Reaper on my chest. People think I'm evil for it, but whatever. It's I find it to be an interesting character. Like some people have like uh Speedy Gonzalez on their leg or like uh Van Helsing on their leg and I'm because I got him on my on my chest. Like, come on, bruh. Dude, you're reaching, you're reaching. The Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and then transform your life. Okay, Taurus. Off top. I feel like something is really over with. And someone does not want to believe it, Taurus. I mean, even in your last reading, I was getting that energy. Like, in all your readings, I get that. Most of your readings, I get that. Some of, some of y'all's readings, I get like... You know, if we did end up, you know, if the person has made the changes they need to make. Um, but, uh, sorry you guys, I just woke up, so I'm trying to get rid of this voice. Look, I got my Sprite and everything, I'm trying. Some people love my up, my waking up voice, and I'm just like, I sound like a dude, like, bro. Mm. Anyway, um, some people like, you know. I feel the energy here today, it didn't matter what the other videos were, but I feel the energy today here that something is completely over. Like, I think you've called quits. Yeah, I think you've ended something. And even if you didn't end it, Taurus, and they did, maybe this person thought that they could just, like, come back at one point. Like, you know how a lot of people think the grass is greener? We all know that. And it sounds cliche, but it's true. Like, people really believe, like, if I... I fumble, if I fumble this person, excuse me, if I fumble this person, then I'm going to have another, just let them have a cool off period. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, B. Ain't no, ain't no cool off period. What do you mean? Who you been talking to? Because they lied. <laughs> is your friends getting up in your head again? Because they lied. Somebody here is done. Whether it's you, Taurus, or somebody else you're looking at, whatever. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what it is that you want. Gratitude and bliss. I mean, Taurus, I feel like a lot of you might be very, very thankful. Look, seduction at the bottom of the deck. You might be very thankful that this period ended with this person. I mean, maybe at one point you weren't. Like, we all do when we're with somebody. You know, we're just like, nah, we don't want it to be over. We're not ready. Nah, I saw my life with you, man. We're not ready. Oh, I saw myself doing dishes for you every night. No, we're not ready to end this. It's not over. Like, you know, you know, stuff like that. Like, you, you whatever situation may it be. Is there one, one please, for Taurus? Oh, just one. Those are extra cards. You look so sexy. We got wisdom. 
Look at all that green. You know, Taurus, a lot of times I'm doing y'all's reading, I see a lot of green. It feels like it's a message for a Taurus or an earth sign. I don't know why. Even if you don't really have earth in your chart. It's, for some of that's got some good vibes. Like, people like to say Scorpios are stuck up and they don't share their emotions. Stuff. Man, not every Scorpio is stuck up. Like, why would people... I guess, whatever. Anyway, baby. Anyway, baby. Okay. Y'all like, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and read the cards. Right here already, we got the two cups in the reverse. Okay, so this has brought you a lot of wisdom, Taurus. Shaving off this connection or shaving off this person. A lot of you, this is a sibling. This is some family member, too. For a lot of you, like, it's over. You're done talking to them, Taurus. A lot of people tend to think that they have space or that they have, uh, they have um, entitlement to your blessings or your abundance or who you are or have access because they're family. Uh -uh. People like even old friends that you might have kicked it with back in the day, they feel like I'm always going to have that access to Taurus. We go way back. Nah, bruh, sis. Look, four pinnacles. So someone is still holding on to you, even though this is gone and done. All right. Someone's still holding on. Someone is still thinking about this being something that is not. They're holding on to hope as well. Okay. Somebody is also having money issues, Taurus. Um, I feel like it's the person that can't let this go. Someone cannot really let this go. And in the same sense, Taurus, the Grim Reaper energy, I feel like you have accepted that it's over. This person has already shown you who they are. You don't need to see no more. And Spirit's like, well, here's some abundance for you because you're actually seeing for yourself. Let me tell you something, Taurus. And I say this with all open and respect, cross-watcher, whoever's watching. Just smile always got you. No matter how many times you go back to that dumb dumbbell, okay? No matter how many times you go back to that selfish-ass narcissist, I'm, I'm going to be here, all right? I ain't going to be that friend that's, if you go back to them, I'm so done with you, blah, blah, blah. Nah, baby, me and you are locked in for life. You understand that? And Spirit said so. Wow. Because... We are humans. We have to learn. And a lot of times it has to be the hard way to find out that someone's not good for us. Do you know, like, you? let's say you've given this person, like, 30 chances already. And I know that might be steep, but for real, it happens. And you want to give them 30 more. You want to give one more last go. When that person confuses you again... And then make you have to sit and wonder if they're actually being genuine and in the connection again or not. They make you think for the 31st time, once again, are you going to be put first before the rest? I got you. Like, on serious, no, I'm not even, when I get serious, my voice gets very flat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Taurus. I'm just not noticing the different voices. Look, I got different voices every time. When I talk to someone, I'm crushing on my voice change. It just is. It happens. I don't know. Like, anyway, I got you for real, though. In all seriousness. Somebody holding on to something, though. Look at this. The hangman. They're trying to look at it. Okay, I can give, I can say this, Taurus. They're trying to look at it from a different perspective, though. They're trying to have some type of belief still like, left to it. I feel like somebody here is a bit delusional. Like, they're believing that there's some way to revive this. But the Grim Reaper was the first card to come out. Okay? Then we got the King of Pentacles in the reverse here. I'm putting it back in the deck because it just fell on me. So, I don't want to take that. But, yeah, like, Taurus, what? Somebody stuck on you. I don't know how people see the hangman, but I see the hangman is stuck. You tell me all day long that when I see it like this, I'm like, damn, somebody got somebody caught on. Somebody got some type of, you know, information. Me, it looked like somebody's just hanging out trying to figure it out. And I feel like somebody's stuck in probably finances for many of you. Like I said, I feel like for some of you, this is family. It could be a lover. You feel me? The Empress and the Upright. 
And at the end of the day, we got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in reverse. At the end of the day, Taurus, it's like somebody can't, somebody can't check in mentally. They can't check in mentally. Look, and that bust the deck open, the higher fit Taurus energy. Then we got Taurus and Libra energy here too, as well. Okay. I break the deck. Look at this. I break the deck now sometimes. Three of Swords. Look, that Ten of Swords in the upright. The ten, and the Three of Swords is in the reverse, Taurus. It's like somebody wants to, like, no, no, no. I never hurt you. No, this is not ended. It ain't over. It's not over until I say it's over or something. But it's like an irritating energy, you guys. And y'all's last rated man went hard in the pain. I mean, like. I love y'all's last reading. I love this reading too, Taurus. I guess I think somebody's like really like not go, letting you go, and they know they should, but they can't. They see you being abundant. Now, abundant doesn't have to be a whole bunch of money flying in the air. I mean, a lot of people would love to see that, but you know, you can manifest that. But I feel like it's like a. That's what I'm feeling like, relief. Like, I was holding my breath for a long time, and I was hoping that this person was going to make some transformations or some changes. And Taurus, the narcissistic mother you are no longer speaking to as much, they're still narcissistic. The person, the brother or sister or that best friend that you have, they're still narcissistic. They don't even know exactly how to see that. They feel like they're the ones. They feel like they're holding on to some truth or some type of information. Or they think it's something valuable. When in actuality, they're really stuck. They're really stuck and they don't understand who the F it is that you are. I, when I say they don't understand, I mean they don't get it. But they know. They know. They just don't like the fact that you have this energy, this mindset, this wisdom to call them out and to see it for what it is, okay? They're not used to that, whoever this is. All right, Spirit, four pentacles, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, yay. Ten of cups, Taurus, ten of cups. Somebody hold on to you, Taurus, for dear life because you make them happy. That hot plate, you made them happy. That check, run it, you made them happy. That give me your energy to them, run that. You make them happy. You make them happy. That energy, that's so amazing. That's so bomb. That's so chill. That's so relaxed. That's so beautiful. That's so willing to help. The energy that's so willing to nurture, love, value other people. Run it, run it, run it. You made them happy. Ten of Cups, they're holding on to that for dear life. And it has to be something called a memory because I'm just not feeling you towards connecting with this person like you used to. I think somebody's woke up here. Grim Reaper came right out. And it literally says the relationship is over. That could be a situation ship, a manipulation ship, a friendship, a family ship, a friendship, a, 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 whatever you want to call it, ship, situation ship. There's so many ships. Pick the one that you jumped off of, Taurus, so you can swim to shore, and you made it, and you got over it, and now abundance is flowing in your life, and now somebody literally could be holding on to memories while they're watching you be happy, and it's really, really like an emotional time in a sense that inside you really do feel this energy, this abundance, like it looks like this person's abundance card is really, truly happy, Okay. And I don't feel like, Taurus, maybe at one point you might have had to make a pretend like you were happy. Uh-uh. You already know. Wisdom, man. People take that stuff for granted. When somebody's wise, you better... Mm. I don't know, man. It's something about some people that are just wise. Like, and it's natural. It's natural. They've been through it. And it comes off natural. Like, the lesson and the way they see it. Sometimes listen to what people are saying and the way they see it. It'll make you kind of change things a bit. I'm not trying to change anybody, no. I'm just saying see it from somebody else's side. But this person's side is that they're holding on to whatever it is you gave them provided. 
Like I said, and I was saying to run it. Like, that's, this is a lot you were given. And this could even be somebody new, Taurus. Somebody that y'all recently just met. And somebody took you for granted way too soon. Somebody could have been, um, look. They see you, they see you changed. Seven of Cups, they're confused about it. There's a song by Deftones, Change. I love that song. Mm. Look it up, Taurus. Um, anyway, if you want. Anyway, um, this Ten of Cups going to the Death card. This shows Taurus that, look, Taurus is happy. And it's their change. It's their transformation. I'm seeing the Grim Reaper here, and I'm seeing him here again. Like, it's definitely done. You making everybody else feel great while you're sitting in limbo. You know, I mean, look at the cups. The cup at the top, especially with the snake coming out. Then we have the one with the dragon. Um, then we have one that has like literally casino chips. And then we have one with all this money. And then we have one with fruit. Like, this is a beautiful card. It actually clearly shows you what's coming out of those cups. Someone's confused as to how's Toys happy and making this actual transformation. This is like something that is no longer there. Maybe you had a lot of doubt, Taurus. Maybe you had a lot of confusion, but now someone else is confused. That was in y'all's last reading, I believe, or reading before. Spirit the Hangman could be dealing with a Cancer's Pisces Scorpio. Okay, could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, a Pisces, a Taurus, or a Libra. Okay. But whoever you're dealing with or whoever you are, my love, you're beautiful. Male or female. Look, Queen of Wands in the upright for the hangman. They are so stuck on how you have all this beautiful um, confidence and you ain't playing. Seven of Wands in the reverse. They wonder why you're not defending yourself. Why aren't you defensive, Taurus? Why, why aren't you over here trying to defend your happiness and your confidence? Ten of Cups and the, eight, the Queen of Wands. Male or female, y'all know I don't do gender. Why are you not trying to defend yourself, Taurus? We're stuck here as to why you feel so abundant. Why do you feel like you just can do you? Who gave you that permission? Why are we over here trying to fumble, okay? Trying to fumble. Damn, ooh, wow. Somebody's like still trying to like... They're still trying to understand something. They're still trying to get their own things in order. They feel confused. They feel like you're supposed to be the one to fix it. Taurus, I don't know who this is. Could be family, like I said earlier, with that Ten of Cups. But Spirit sees you being balanced throughout it all. You're not defensive. The Seven of Wands in the reverse. You're not trying to, like, throw people off or nothing like that. You ain't got time for that. Let me tell you something. Taurus, again, y'all know I get, I know you get tired of hearing me talk. And sometimes I get, I get tired of hearing me talk, too. It's like, that'll never happen. Um, anyway, I talk to myself on a daily shit. <laughs> Put on makeup, everything. Um, while you might feel, Taurus, that, you know, the situation left you in some way, shape, or form abundant, relieved, someone's upset that you're relieved of it. And I think they're really, like, angry. Because the Grim Reaper coming out twice. Abundance and then the Ten of Cups. Like, and then here they are. Like, who gave you permission, Taurus, to not defend yourself? You know, when you're not trying to call them Taurus and say, Oh, yeah, well, this is what had happened was, um, I've been really trying to get rest. And I've been, you know, I'm trying to get this and that stuff done. I mean, you have people very much confused. And you, you... You're rejecting people left and right towards whether you know it or not. You don't have to say anything. They know. They know. So that's what's got them holding on with this Four of Pentacles energy. Like, this is mine. Heck yeah, that memory is yours. But the person does not belong to you. The person does not belong to you. Someone's like sitting around watching and they're eager to see you bring abundance back into their life. They are so confused as to who told you to change. Who told you to be confident, Taurus? Who told you to sit up straight like the empress or the emperor that you are? Who told you to boss the F up? Because it wasn't me. That's what this person feels. People feel. Some of y'all got some gossiping ass family members. You were good off cutting them off. 
Get them scissors, like literally. And if they won't leave you alone, send a scissors emoji. They'll get it. Don't say nothing. Send a scissors emoji. Cut. Like, no. I'm not, no. No, no one deserves to live an unhappy life because of what others' expectations are. Nine times out of ten, someone wanting you to live the way they lived or want you to live is because they're short of being successful in their own life. And that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with your life. It's not yours. It's not your bag to pick up. It's not your wands, per se. Think about the ten of wands. You see the person always in the picture struggling. You're not doing that no more. And it's confusing this person. Like, they're still trying to get their shit together. But wondering why you're not defensive. It confuses. I'm getting confusion from the Seven of Cups. Like, somebody's like, wow, I'm an option. Taurus has put me as an option. If they want to speak to me or not, heck, heck yeah, Taurus has made you an option. If they want to speak, they'll speak. If they don't want to deal with the nonsense, they choose to close it off. Like I said, cut. And then, then here we have the two of pentacles, Taurus. Mm. Give me seven of wands in reverse. Spirit, give me some kind of seven of wands in reverse. These cards do not fail. Look, queen of pentacles in the reverse. They're, they look, Taurus, we've been seeing a king of pentacles in reverse. They want you to be stuck like them. If this is a lover situation, if this is a family situation, ship, I don't care what ship it is. Whatever shit, like I said, Taurus, that you said, I'm off this. I'm, no, I don't need a safety jacket. I don't need nobody giving me nothing that has something attached to them. Six of Pentacles in reverse because of their selfishness. And it doesn't have to be money because I kept seeing that King of Pentacles, now the Queen of Pentacles, clarify the Seven of Wands. You know, try, longer trying to defend yourself. No. No, I'm not going to defend myself on why I can't get on your level. Broke, busted, disgusted, and mentally disturbed. I'm not getting, I'm not going to defend myself. I refuse. And I still, Taurus, feel the energy of you being the queen of wands and upright. Again, male or female. Okay, leg hair or no leg hair, baby. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Nah. Swear, we got for the Empress, please. The Taurus. Thank you. I knew you were going to respond, guys. The tower in reverse. You sitting up, not to, trying to defend yourself. That seven of wands is a mother effer, okay? Look, you not trying to defend yourself just for the sake of a connection, okay? The two of cups doesn't always got to be romantic. It could be a work situation, a manager. It could be anything. But the seven of wands, I don't know why. Out of all these cards, the seven of wands in reverse and the seven of cups in the upright with the death card really sticks out to me. I know we got the empress on the map. We got the ten of cups on the map. That sticks out too. But Taurus, that's just your given right. <laughs> Since you were born to be happy. To be self-made. Now I know God created you. I know. But God gives you choices. Spirit gives you choices. Spirit doesn't make you. God doesn't make you do anything you don't want to do. If you're willing to face whatever consequences. Now that could be good things. It could be bad. Karma, 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 karma. This tower in the reverse with this death card in the upright. The change that you decide to make has helped you to avoid future towers later with somebody that really wanted you to like bag down for them. They want you scared. They want you submissive. It's nice and fun to make someone else feel insecure about themselves on the inside. And you said no to that. And they're mad. I don't care what nobody says. Somebody can sit here all day and put on that poker face. I'm living my life. I don't care. They care. You cannot say it, Taurus. They care. Or you care. Somebody cares. Somebody's care that somebody cares as to why you're not defending yourself. There's a Taurus here that would give every possible way to nurture someone's insecurities because they didn't want someone else to feel uncomfortable while they were around them. Taurus, you're amazing. Crosswasher, you're amazing to want to put yourself out there. See how flat my voice gets? That's crazy. I'm not going to focus on that no more. Sorry, Taurus. <laughs> Just for you to put your, to be that selfless and stick your neck out and do anything for somebody else. What they didn't see coming 
was that there was major lessons you were learning while they were playing major games. Uh uh. This tower was avoided. There's towers you're avoiding at this very moment, Taurus, wherever you're sitting at right now, wherever you're standing, okay? Whatever you're doing right now, there's a tower that you are missing, that you have blocked because you're in this energy of sitting back, being quiet, observing, knowing, wisdom, happy, loving self. Temperance energy could be a Sagittarius again. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus, a Libra. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got fire signs on the map. Aries, Leo, Sag. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But here with this temperance energy by this tower in the reverse, I can't under, I can't help it but to connect the two, the Empress and the temperance energy. Balanced. Now I'm in this energy with the two of pentacles in the upright and the seven of wands in the upright. Like I've got to defend why and call. I've got to defend why and make it. Why not come towards them? Blah, blah, blah. Six of Cups in the reverse. It's all done and, and said. It's all done and said. Don't need to even look at it no more. Mm -mm. No. And someone, look, Death Card, they still haven't made transformation or they have, they just, they don't want it to be over. This was their worst fear. This is just breaking the deck, Taurus. You did the right thing, Taurus, letting them go. You let it go. And just because of that, abundance is flowing and wisdom. Balance and that sit back, that self-love, that thoughtfulness, but now it's going towards you, baby. It's going towards you, Taurus. You give it to yourself. Doesn't it feel good? I hope it feels good. This is the reading I have for you, Taurus. I love you guys to the moon and back. If you didn't clarify, if this didn't resonate with you, okay, maybe come back for your next one, and I'll see you in that one. Taurus, I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday, for real. Take, excuse me, y'all, my Sprite. Take good care of yourselves, y'all. Sorry for my voice sound, I'm like, ugh, I don't know. Um, I'm, anyway, <laughs> Taurus, I could talk to y'all all day long. You know that. I could talk to you guys all day long. Okay. I love you guys, Taurus. Take good care. Have a beautiful Sunday. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.